Corey's here for the weekend because why? My mom's going to South Carolina. And you didn't get to stay home alone? Nope. What? Anyway, we're going to Target maybe to buy some Legos. Oh, and Walmart. I have Target gift cards. He has Walmart gift cards. So we got to buy some stuff to do a video with. We should not be doing this on the Lego aisle. We should be doing this on the Mega Bloks aisle. That's too bad. Get away. Oh my god. I grabbed a few Minecraft sets for a Minecraft Lego video on my gaming channel. I don't know if it's gonna go well or not, but I figured it was a good enough idea that I will try it. And so for 30, 40, 50, oh, I'm spending $90. Yeah. Gonna need a lot of views, guys. Check it out, MNR Games. Core, are you gonna watch? Yeah. All right, there's a penny. We're starting strong. I thought you were never gonna shave. What are these? They're razors. This? You, what do you, you walked and looked this? at these. Yeah, that's a razor. I mean, I don't use ones like that. I don't really know how they work, to be honest. I thought that was a massage thing. It's not a massage. <laughs> <laughs> Corey convinced me I should get a couple big black bins, so we'll get rid of the one that I have out there that's old and nasty, and we'll get two new ones. I have Target gift cards, so we're going to make use of them here. Should spend all the money with this. Let's go. It's time to clean. If you got time to lean, you got time to clean. I was going to get rid of all these poly bags, but since you're, you're here, pick a poly bag. What could you possibly desire? There's so many to choose from. Like, oh... Why don't you just take this and run? I would consider yourself lucky to be an owner of a Unikitty poly bag. No. Why not? No. And for free at that. I don't think there's any Star Wars in here, if you're looking. <laughs> I don't think. <Okay. laughs> just so you know. A flower, you can give it to your girlfriend. No, oh, okay. All right, well, <laughs> when your girlfriend sees that, she'll know how you really feel. Oh, a police car. That's not a police car. That is a it's police just car. Blue. No, that is police it's just blue. It's literally car. blue. It's that... called car. It doesn't even have a name. Yeah, it's called. Is that what you're picking? No. no. Oh, will you hold the camera when you're done. Okay, Van. Oh, that's the one? Yep. Just because it's different? Yep. All right, congratulations. You win. Yeah. After another hour or so of work, I have a clean row vacuumed. What? Oh. <laughs> Corey's still been chipping away at the white piece. What are you doing down here? On a perfect spot for it. Oh, okay. Well, I, I still am going to mess around with that later, but that's good. Um, What did you just throw at me? I had this perfectly vacuumed, and now there's a Lego on the ground over here. Get it out of here. Anyway, um, of course I hit it in the bin. I'm a baller. Anyway, uh, this all needs to be cleaned still. Like, this is not the corner I want. I want this stuff out of here, so these are accessible bins. I still need to clean the bottom three bins. These top two are empty, because I emptied them, and or except the... <laughs> Excuse the Jenny Arso head. Um, so all those parts, sands will get. Those are all like random parts that I've been throwing in there for years of like extra pieces from builds. So Corey and I are going to bag some clone troopers so that they are actually organized. Be careful because some of these aren't the same. So like these ones are the classics. Don't bag them. But for all these jetpack troopers, let's put mm. them in one bag and I'll get started with uh, the next layer down. Say goodbye to the 332nd Army. Okay, the jetpacks are done. Um, we'll figure those out here in a second. Get them with these clones here, I guess. Uh, but we are slowly getting through. There's my episode two clones. These are going to be the 332nd clones all in here. Found this gnarly looking Lego 2x4 brick. What do you got? Oh, we got more. Yeah, we're, we're tearing apart my good old Hoth mock that I had started and I was actually pretty proud of, but it's uh, it's got to come down like to make the move ago. process easy eventually. Just trying to really clean up this room because it is a disaster still. Just found a piece of fan mail from Kevin the Emerald Cow that I hadn't opened. It was like sitting between this wall and this... Uh, box i just wanted to thank him for the command degree and the very very nice letter i really didn't think it'd make that much of a difference but man seeing all this organized and clean or starting to get organized and clean as i lit off some of these cups is really nice this is actually going to be a nice amount of space for me to get back and actually be able to use for real storage now that i'm being a bit more serious about my storage out here and getting rid of things there's a pile of stuff over here to get rid of but uh Progress is progress. Can't be uh, can't be down on that. Back in the garage for another day, and I should probably clean out this. Also, some gas money, maybe. I probably used this five or six years ago, but 
it's still in here for some reason and so is my pizza money so i might have some free food and free gas here coming up I'm, it's, that's an exciting prospect especially with how high gas prices are no. let's Didn't see you stack them and it says do not stack I might have stacked them. Let's see what they have inside. This one's got a lot of bubble wrap. Woo! I think I ordered this from eBay and I ordered this from Mercari for what that's worth. This is a lot. I have never seen this. They must have shipped this thing built. That's one of, I already have the Luke Skywalker pilots. Now I have the Stormtrooper. And, which one is that? Darth Vader. Now I have Darth Vader too. So I'm still yeah. missing the Shadow Trooper and the uh, Boba Fett. Someone emailed me or messaged me on Instagram like a month ago with Boba Fett. And I was like, yeah, I want to buy it. And then I lost the DM or the email. So if that person watches this video, please email. Don't put on my Legos. This is crazy. I don't think I've ever had someone ship something built like this before. But like actually pack it so it doesn't break. This is nice. The reason I bought another Django Fett Slave 1, this one is a massive misprint. And so this guy was selling the, the Slave 1 for about what it's worth. I think I bought it for like two or $300. Like that's like a normal average price for like a used Django Fett Slave 1. But you don't get a misprint to Django Fett every day of the week. So when I saw it, it was a no brainer, must immediately buy. I don't plan on keeping both Slave 1s. I plan on buying a sealed one, like I said, but, uh, you know, selling these will allow me to do that. And I get to keep a really cool misprinted Django Fett. So I think I won that. Just wrapped on playing some Warzone for the night, and we have a package from Maddie's Minifigures. I'll link him down below, but this should be something cool. So I don't often go out of my way to buy these types of figures that I think what's the, I forget the word they use for them a lot, um, but like preliminary figures that obviously aren't, but yeah, this was a trans blue one and I had to have it to like have to show for, for like the force ghost thing if the force ghost thing turns out to be real. So I picked this one up to go with another trans blue Vader I had and it won't focus. I filed my taxes today like a true adult and in true adult fashion, I'm gonna celebrate by opening a box of Legos. So this should be the final episode three set I need sealed with the ultimate lightsaber duel. It is a set that isn't that great. I've owned it before, but now I have a brand new unbox version. I can't remember. I think this version, the light up lightsabers don't light up anymore, but this will complete that collection of episode three sets. I needed to buy this before the Kenobi show came out. It's probably already a little inflated in price because of that, even though it was already really expensive. But like if Anakin or Darth Vader and Obi-Wan fight in the show on Mustafar or something, I think the price on this might just go berserkers and hit like a thousand dollars. So I needed to get mine before people go wild with it. So I got it. Also this alternate build, one of my favorite alternate builds ever in Lego Star Wars. I might try to recreate that with another copy of this set. I'm gonna have to get a used copy to do that though. I can't afford another new one. <laughs> Today is Corey's birthday, and I didn't get him a gift. Well, I might get him something at Target, but he left me a gift. He was staying here like two weeks ago, and he left his wallet in my brother's room. I found it yesterday, very convenient timing, I know, and so I'm going to give it to him for his birthday. I want to get Corey a Lego set, but I honestly do not know what he has and doesn't have, so we're kind of going to have to take a shot in the dark. I want to guess he doesn't have this, but I honestly do not know. But we're gonna try for this. Or he maybe doesn't have that. This one's cooler though, minus the figure. I'm gonna get this and hope he doesn't have it. If he does, he can return and get something else, I don't care. The Slave One has been wrapped and because it's definitely accurate, we have a large bag of money, which is where his wallet is gonna go. And it has money in a large bag that is supposed to have money. What do you know? How many, 12? 18. 18, I don't think so. I got him two gifts. You wanna open them? Get the big one first. I didn't know if you had that one or not. I think I do. You do? I think so. Oh my God. You haven't even built it from Christmas. Nope. I know. <laughs> Did you even read the bag? <laughs> saving that bag for a long time. Why? Because it's a cool bag. <laughs> I have the same wallet. You have the same wallet? Yes. Oh. Oh. Oh, it must yeah. be your wallet. <laughs> How did, you didn't know it was missing? 
No. Oh my God. I found it in my brother's room yesterday and I was like, he hasn't asked about it. It's been two weeks since you've been there. I have. Oh my God. I haven't. So I just spent about the last hour working on a video for the clone command station set and rebuilding it. And that was actually a lot of fun. And then I checked my uh, front porch and we got a package. And in that package, got a new sleeveless shirt for summer, maybe get a little tan on. And then I also got a new Tatum shirt, which is pretty exciting because I needed a bigger one. My other one was definitely too small. So it's a large instead of a medium. And then the best of them all, I found these randomly on the Celtics store. These are the funniest pants ever. Uh, these were an absolute, like, it, <laughs> it uh, it's so bad, it's good. I love it. So uh, yeah, these are my new pants, new shirt, very happy. All the way from Mexico, DHL. And big thank you to Danny, who obviously lives in Mexico. Big fan since 1629. Either way, thank you to Danny for getting back to me so fast and shipping this out so fast because uh, I am, oh, it's always exciting to have a Lego set early. You know what I mean? I, I think everyone kind of kind of can vibe with that feeling. That is the fighter tank. I am gonna go build and review it and you can check that out on my MR Productions channel if you're interested. Let's do it. Fighter tank has been built, reviewed, and uploaded already, and that video is doing very well, so thank you to all those that, that watched it right when it came out. Um, we are actually gonna go... We are gonna head up to the storage unit and bring my Super Star Destroyer up. We're gonna bring these Episode 3 sets up, trying to clear out this uh, space a little bit and some other stuff in the garage, I'm sure, but let's get these moved. So I'm up really high in the garage, but for a reason, it's because I'm actually looking for my Republic fighter tank box, the, the oldest Republic fighter tank. I looked at my storage unit today when I went, didn't find it. I've been looking around here and in my brother's room and in my room, couldn't find it. And then it, I, I like looked on YouTube and I was like, when did I even open that set? I opened that set in October, so like five or six months ago. And I was like, oh, I opened it with the ATT and I come up here and the ATT box is open. I have a sneaky suspicion it's inside of here and it's poking out the other end. So about to see if my uh, detective skills have paid. No, no. Oh yes, it is in there. Ooh, baby, come on. Don't freak now. Let's go, we found it. Oh my God. So something I've wanted to do with my collection for a while, and it's not necessarily something I think I'll need all too often, but it's essentially, I've wanted to create like a spreadsheet or like a tree system or something that tells me, like if I wanna go on, a, on my Google Docs or whatever, and type in a set number, I could put in 7679, and then it would have a line back all the way back to where its source is. So it'd be like 7679 is inside of 7676, or 75 rather, which is inside of the garage, or something to that nature, so that I can keep track of them easier. Or like, I could just throw them all out because I don't really need them, but you know, that would be too easy. Today I opened and reviewed the Beskar Mando helmet with the Lego one on m and Collect, so check that out. But man, this thing is cool as it gets, guys. I mean, it's fully detailed interior. I mean, it's absurd. And this was only like 130 bucks. The Lego one is $60. So you can see the price difference. Isn't that crazy for like the difference in what you're getting for like, you can actually wear this. Plus it looks way better on display because it's just a more accurate thing. So I'm a, I'm a fan of the helmet. I like it. I might wear it for Halloween. Well, today I'm doing something I wasn't expecting to do again for a while, and that's go to Legoland. I just went like a week and a half ago, but uh, my friend Joey's there and Derek's gonna be there, so we're gonna go. Well, I can't believe I'm at Legoland again, but here we are. It's not as packed in here as I expected. I should probably go in there and see if they have clone packs, but I'm on a mission right now for parts. Well, maybe I'll see if they have clone packs, because why not? No luck on mini big packs, completely out still. I assume they haven't had any though. So I keep finding really nice parts. I just got an entire bag of these parts, and I can't help myself. I think I'm gonna go for a second bag. And there he is. It's Joey, he's got hair now. How's it going? What's up? Okay, Derek's here now, AKA Pro Lego Channel. Check him out, face revealed. 
Um, what you just want three of these? You're just getting yeah, a small three bag of, with three. Three of, three three of, of what? Of the little two by ten. You, oh, you need me to do it because I have the glove. Right. You got the special glove. So if I only put one in your bag, there's absolutely nothing you can do I about it. I can't do anything about it. That's, <laughs> that's me locked in. Locked in. What else do you want, sir? Uh, the uh, silver. Silver? Ooh, I don't know if I can do three on these. How about two? Uh, four. Four? Yeah. You're breaking the bank here. I am. This is... Oh. Do you want this one? It's probably dirty. That's a, that's a, you should probably have it anyway. Probably They're all contaminated now. <laughs> Guys, I am officially a Lego master builder because I'm here picking the bricks. So I'm, that's what it says. Get in line. Derek wants me to like fake drop all my bags and make a whole mess. No, I didn't say fake. I said real drop. <laughs> Close. I stuffed some extra parts in for Derek here today. Trick or treat. Yeah, say it. That's right. You say it. Say it wow. again. <laughs> trick, trick or treat. I don't know. This is, this, is this is value. I don't want to bring any of these smiley face on bricks. So you're going to stay here until they are all out of my bag. Wow. One at a time. Okay, bye for Lego channel. Bye. Have fun with Thanks your Halloween candy. Channel. Oh yes. All right, so hopefully that might be the last time I go to Legoland this year. I, I, unless I come back in a few months because I want to see if they have more parts or if they have summer sets early. I think I'm done with Legoland for the year. It's been very fun, but I, it's two hours to get here and I can't keep doing that.